What's going on guys? Today we're checking in here in Taipei, Taiwan and we've got a fun topic that we're going to be talking about in today's video. So what are we going to talk about today, Tun Chan? We are talking about go to America plan. Our plan to go to America? Yes. Yes, so we've got uh, a lot we want to talk about that's on our mind but before we get into today's topic, let's show you guys today's surrounding. We're actually here traveling in Taiwan. We've been staying in Taipei area. And Taipei is one of our favorite cities, especially for cycling. And unfortunately, we've had some very bad weather here. It's been raining for most every day that we've been here so far. So actually, it's, it's just barely sprinkling a little bit right now, but you can see the ground is wet, um, everything's been wet. It's just been sprinkling on and off all day, every day for the last week. And we haven't been able to do much cycling, unfortunately. We haven't been able to film any cycling videos, but we've been doing a lot of walking mm -hmm. and we've been eating a lot of food. Yes. A lot of great food here in Taiwan. So here's some pictures and videos of some of the food that we've been eating. Mm -hmm. What is your favorite food so far here in Taiwan? Beef noodles. Beef noodles? Yeah. Yeah, we went hiking last night and we got some it's beef good. noodles. So delicious. So delicious? Yes. Yeah. So we're here, we're down in near Taipei 101, which has a beautiful tower you can see here. There's also some nice shopping streets, so it's a nice quiet place. And we're going to be doing a little walk and talk for today's video because normally we film our videos cycling and talking, but we can't do it in this weather, so we're going to be changing and do a walking video today instead. So let's go ahead and get started with today's walk. Let's go. Let's go. This is a nice little sort of festival place that they have going on for the Christmas and New Year celebrations. They actually have this nice tree here. Very beautiful. So we've been enjoying all the Christmas lights. Mm -hmm. Tun Chan really likes all the illuminations. Yes. She likes taking her pictures. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's continue. We're actually going to head out of this area. So we're going to start making our way down here. There's actually a, a bus station here. So you can see this is where a lot of buses are departing. And really popular intersection, really popular station. They've got a TGI Fridays here too, apparently. And walking down the streets here in Taipei is actually really, really nice. These big sidewalks here actually remind us a lot of walking in Japan, walking in Nagoya, our old city. Just these huge wide sidewalks, plenty of space for pedestrians to walk. So we're going to start walking south towards Taipei 101 Tower. And the rain is starting to pick up a little bit, so we got the umbrella out to protect the camera a little bit. It's actually surprisingly cold here in Taipei compared to like how it's been in Vietnam recently. So let's go ahead and get started into today's main topic and that is are we going to be moving to America? So in one of our last videos when I went back to the US to my hometown in Michigan for family reasons I mentioned at the end of that video that we might have some big changes coming up in our near future and we're strongly considering moving back to the US. It's not set in stone right now, but it is something that we are thinking about more seriously now compared to before. So for anyone new to our channel, I'll give you guys a, a little background information on our situation. So my name's Cruz. I'm American from Michigan in the US. My wife Tung, she's from Vietnam. And we actually met in Japan. We made a whole video talking about how we met and we speak Japanese as our common language. We lived in Japan for about seven years total. And recently we've been living in Vietnam. We're doing some traveling now, coming to Taipei. But for the most part, now we're using Vietnam as our home base and doing some traveling from there. And for the last year, we've been trying to figure out our next big game plan. Are we gonna move back to Japan, go for permanent residency? Are we gonna stay in Vietnam long-term? Or are we gonna move to somewhere else like the US or Europe? We've been considering a lot of different options and it's not been easy thinking about this, like our next big step for our future. It's, it's not an easy decision to make. I'll check this out. We got the Christmas light show. Enjoying the, the Christmas spirit here in Taiwan. Tung really likes it. All the Christmas music, all the Christmas lights. Yeah, we don't get this in Vietnam, not in Da Nang where we live. But it's actually been about a year since we moved from our home in Japan. We started this new journey heading over to Vietnam. We've had a lot of time to think during this past year. And the more I think about it, the more I'm starting to realize that 
America might be our best choice moving forward. There's a couple of reasons for that I wanted to talk about in this video and just let you guys know what I'm thinking. One big reason why we do this channel is to, to document our lives, not just sharing all the positives, but also sharing some of the struggles, the things that we go through, the different things we struggle with. Over this last year, we've tried to make a couple different plans for visiting different countries. Most recently, we're here in Taipei, Taiwan right now. We went to Singapore, and we've been trying to go to other places as well, like considering Korea, South Korea, and going back to Japan. But for those countries, Tung actually needs a, a fairly lengthy like visa application. It's not an easy process, and this is something that we're gonna have to consider for possibly the rest of our lives. If she just stays on the Vietnamese passport, whenever we wanna travel somewhere, she's going to need a lengthy visa application and even if she gets that visa, she can only go for a limited amount of time. And of course, with the American passport myself, like I can go to a lot of different countries for a longer period of time. And not just for traveling, if something were to happen in the future, for example, another kind of um, illness or type of pandemic situation or a big potential war situation even, I, I really feel a lot more secure knowing that we both have the same passport knowing that we can both be in the same country without any restrictions this last covid situation was extremely scary for us because we were both in japan at that time but our visas were both dependent on my work and like i could go back to the u.s but she couldn't go there and she could go back to vietnam but i couldn't go there actually for a period of time she couldn't even go back to vietnam because they didn't have enough flights to bring their own citizens back to the country so it was a scary time and it really made me realize like how important it is for us both to have the same passport and same citizenship and same safe place that we can go back to. Vietnam doesn't necessarily offer those same securities. It's very difficult to get a passport as a foreigner there. And America is still like one of the strongest countries economically and in terms of different freedoms, like it's just, it's just becoming clear that this would be a really solid investment for us in the future. And the longer we wait, the more difficult it is gonna be. The sooner we start, the sooner we can get it over with. And just having that would be such a huge security. Just, you can't put a price on that level of security and safety. Just knowing that you're, we both have the same passport, the same citizenship, and we can both be in the same country in case something ever happens again. There's other advantages to moving to the US, of course, to being able to develop her skills learning more English, becoming proficient in English, hopefully. And of course, meeting my family. She's never met any of my family yet. So she's really looking forward to that. All my family wants to meet her too. Yes. And just experiencing a different type of culture, a different type of life and new challenges. We're still struggling with deciding what we wanna do with our future, like work-wise. Like continuing YouTube is great, but it's not really something that we can sustain ourselves on long-term, I think, especially in our niche, like just filming cycling videos. It's, it's very difficult. Um, we, it's doable, but we'd have to, yeah, we'd have to be a bit more serious about it and have a more strategic plan. And that's not the topic of today's video. We're not gonna really talk about business plans or like work plans, but there are a lot of opportunities in the US. It is difficult and scary and stressful in some aspects. The living costs in the US are so much more expensive compared to Southeast Asia, compared to Vietnam. So we can survive over here pretty okay because the, the living costs aren't so bad, but in the US, like it's just insanely expensive how much money it costs to survive there with rent and everything and increasing costs all around, healthcare costs, and just having to need a car to go anywhere. Like there's a lot of required costs and I'm not sure if we'll be able to survive there with a no car lifestyle like we are here especially in my hometown in like Metro Detroit area, there's just no public transportation and there's no good real like cycling infrastructure either. So living that kind of lifestyle um, is a lot more difficult over there. And we'd incur a lot more expenses that we don't need to have here. So Tung and I have actually been married here for over five years now. And a lot of people assume that it's really easy for her to get to the US because we are married. She's married to a US citizen, but actually that's not the case. There's really only two ways that she can come to the US, and one of them is through a 
tourist visa, which we're hoping to apply for. And with that, she can, it depends on how long you get. You can get like only one year. You can get up to like 10 years, I hear. But with that visa, you can go for a certain period. I think it's like a month or so. And you can go to the US and it's a repeated use visa. So she could use it possibly every year to visit the US. And it's just for short term stays. So we're considering to get that so she can at least visit, hopefully next summer. And then the long term solution is getting her green card, which will eventually lead to citizenship. Because we have been married for over like three years or so, she can get that within only, I think, three years after she gets her green card, she can get her US citizenship. It's five years if you've only been married a short time, I believe. But the, the difficult thing with the green card is it actually takes like at least a year to process the applications right now. And our application is more difficult because I'm not actually in the US, so I'm not established in the US. I can't really act as a sponsor for her because yeah, I'm not established there. So we need to find another sponsor there who'd be able to do that for her. And that's another thing that we need to, to focus on. But in short, it does take, it looks like it takes like a year to even up to two years possibly now to process the applications. And it's really hard to make a plan that far in advance. Because like, I don't want to leave her and go back to the US early myself just to get things ready. But it might come down to that depending on how things go. We're trying to be strategic about everything and figure out what is the best option for our future. Like are we, are we going to try and buy a house in the US? And our housing price is going to go down over the next year. What kind of work are we going to do in the future? Are we going to focus only on YouTube or try and start some other business in the US? Something that she can do being a, a non-native English speaker who's still not very proficient in English. There's a lot of stuff that we, we got to worry about, but in the end, after thinking about everything, even though it is a full year process before she can even move to the US, I think there's just so much opportunity for us there and places for her to travel and experience. And overall, I think from a logical standpoint, it's the, the smart move for us to go forward. What do you think about the U.S.? I get a strong passport. Strong passport? Yeah. And? We can earn more money. <laughs> yeah, we can make more money. So if we, if we stay in Vietnam and Tung works a job in Vietnam, mm -hmm. she'd maybe make like $500 a month. Yeah. And to me, that's just not worth it. Like, she can make so much more in the U.S. even if it's just like a simple like mm -hmm. factory job or even like Amazon, whatever. There's a lot more potential for us to save more money in the US? Yeah, in my English skill, more better. Okay, better English. Better English and uh, visit through family. Visit family? Not visit, stay. Stay? Living. Yeah, Living yeah. Yeah, like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, lots of good reasons. Is it negative point? Um, don't have rice. No rice? No rice. <laughs> we have rice in America. Yeah, I like rice. Yeah. You know. I know. Americans don't eat much white rice. I'm, I'm all the way worried about it. <laughs> about no, no rice. rice. Yeah, yeah. No rice. Okay. And? Uh, it's okay for me because I all the way travel a lot of, not a lot of, but many country. Yeah, only yeah. in Asia. You've never been outside of Asia. But, but. I can eat uh, uh, American food, uh, Mexican, Mexican food. food. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What about your family? You miss your family? Yeah, I mean, of course. Yeah. I, I think mean. this is the biggest negative point. Yeah. You miss your family here in Vietnam. Yeah. Yeah. So if we do move, it will be difficult for us to come back, yeah. especially for the first few years. Yeah. So it's not an easy decision. Yeah. There's a lot to think about. But anyway, I wanted to give you guys an update on what we're thinking about. We're not 100% decided on this, but we're, we're edging more towards, I think this is the decision that we need to make. And the longer we wait, the more difficult it is for us to do this. And it is a full year application, so we don't want to wait too long. We got to make up our mind and then we still have a year to do different things here. We can travel a bit more while we're here in Asia. We're right underneath the Taipei 101 building right now, by the way, check that out. 
really cool with all the like mist and clouds and everything. I think the most difficult thing with this whole decision is just the, the time frame of it all. If it only took like a month to process the visa, like it does with Japan, like it does with Vietnam, it would be an easy decision, but I'm not very good with making long-term plans and long-term decisions. So the other thing is it's not exactly just one year. That's like the earliest it could possibly happen. It could take 18 months. It could take even two years to process everything. And that's, that's so hard to plan around because we still have a whole year uh, where we need to do other things. Like you can't start another job and then you have to leave that job just to, to make your move like a year later. It's not that great of a situation to be in. So yeah, that's just the hardest part of it all is just trying to make this huge plan where you can't even move on anything until a year later. Like if we do want to move to the US and we decide like I want to start a new career there or if we want to find a, a house to live in, like that's something I don't like waiting on. Like I like just if something's on my mind that I know I need to get done, I like getting it done right away. So I don't need to think about it. So I don't need to stress about it for the next year. Like to me, that's just the hardest part. Tung's actually really enjoyed. Uh, I introduced her to Zillow. <laughs> So she's really enjoyed it. We, we showed her some of my hometown on Google Maps and we've had fun just looking on Zillow, checking out some of the different uh -huh. houses. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's her new hobby. <laughs> yes, new hobby. Yeah, we've seen a couple houses so far and she's like, let's buy it. Let's <laughs> <laughs> but it's tough because like, yeah, if we find a good deal even, like we won't be able to move there until we get her visa. And it's not even like guaranteed, like this will all work out. There's so many, uh, it's difficult. But it's fun. Looking at Zillow is fun. Yeah. On the other hand, there, there are some good points to like not rushing and not getting anything. Like I haven't really paid attention to real estate or like the housing market or anything like that at all. Like since I've lived abroad because like I haven't been living in the US so it didn't really matter much to me. But apparently the house prices have just increased like insanely over the last few years, especially the last two years in particular. And they're starting to go on the decline. So that's a good opportunity, hopefully, if there's more houses um, going up for sale in stock and inventory, that means there'll be less bidding on the houses, the price can go down, and hopefully, once, <laughs> if we decide to go this route, we can get a better deal on some real estate moving forward. That would be amazing. Yeah, it's not been an easy last year. Like, it's been great, we've been able to travel and see some different places, but it's always in the back of my mind, like trying to figure out what is the next big move for our future? What's the best move for our future? It's not just like thinking about me, it's thinking about both of us. And like logically, it seems like going to the US is the best step. It puts Tuung in a much better position. It puts us in a safer position. It gives her a lot more opportunities. And even with cycling stuff, there's so much great cycling within the US. There's places we can travel to within the US. Um, the other thing, if we are going to be continuing this channel, focusing on cycling content, it's a lot easier to work with um, sponsors within a specific region because we're so international. Sometimes it's difficult to work with different distributors in different areas, but it'll hopefully be easier for us to secure some cycling sponsorships moving forward in the US and help us continue focusing on this channel because it's not easy continuing like a, a channel like ours at times. So all in all, I think we're leaning towards that decision, but it's not a light decision. It's not an easy decision. And pretty soon we're going to have to make up our minds. If any of you guys who's watching have gone through a similar experience with like a, a Vietnamese wife and <laughs> moved to the US or someone with a sort of similar situation, we'd love to hear your story in the comments. So please let us know from your experience or what you guys think. It's so weird walking here in Taipei sometimes in Taiwan because like some places it really looks like Japan like they've got the green uh, commuting line painted on the side here at times but other places like you definitely feel like you're in a more Chinese kind of city but some places it like really feels like you're in Japan so that's why we love it here it's a great mix of Chinese culture Japanese culture and amazing food all around amazing cycling infrastructure unfortunately we haven't been able to experience much of it on this trip just because it's been this weather every day for over the last week and like we I don't mind cycling in the rain like I've raced in the rain I can do it but 
if I have a choice, <laughs> if it's not a race and I'm not training for something in this kind of condition, I don't like putting myself in this kind of like torturous situation if I don't have to. It's dangerous, you can get sick and your risk of crashing increases because yeah, it's just, it's not a safe environment to cycle in. And I'm retired from competitive cycling now, so yeah, I'm not gonna ride in the rain unless it's like absolutely necessary. But yeah, I think this is a good place to end our video. This video did get a little bit long, but I hope you guys enjoyed and yeah, we wanna share everything with you guys. This channel is a documentation of our lives, the, the good, the bad, the struggles, and everything. We'll keep you guys updated with what we decide. We're only here in Taiwan for a few more days and it's scheduled to rain for the rest of our trip, so I don't know if we'll be able to film many more cycling videos here, unfortunately, but that's it for today's video though. So thank you as always for watching and we'll see you next time here on Tibo Cruise.